let's talk about backups. Question one, do you know what the word means? Backup is actually used in three very different ways. First, we use it to talk about business continuity, how we keep things running if something blows up. Second, disaster recovery, how we get things back online if something shuts down. And finally, archives, copies we keep for future reference. Now, most folks are pretty sure that Microsoft and Google are backing up their files, and they're not. The backups they create are for their business continuity and disaster recovery purposes. They back up the files they need to get their services back online. If you have a paid account, they have a contractual obligation to restore your operating environment. They restore data to the extent practical, but have minimal obligation to do so. And data, especially most recent data, may be lost in the process. If you have a free account, they have no obligation to even bring the service back up, much less provide or recover your data. In fact, they could just decide that the cost of recovery isn't worth it and discontinue the service instead. Yes, that's unlikely, but it's not impossible, and that's important for you to know. I know, you thought you had it covered. Now what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to have a plan. Assess your needs, make sure that you have what you need to make it okay if something goes wrong. Start by identifying your own needs. What happens if your internet provider goes down? Do you need continuity or can you live without your stuff for a few hours? Now, if you're synchronizing your OneDrive or your Google Drive to your local hard disk, that'll keep you in business when the net goes down for a bit. You're probably okay. Now, disaster recovery. What happens if your computer crashes? Well, if you've been synchronizing files to your cloud drive, you probably just get a new computer and synchronize them back down and you're fine. Do make sure you have copies of installation media and license information for all your programs. Now, most people think that's enough. They think they don't need an archival backup. And most people are wrong. Business continuity and disaster recovery will help you in the day to day, but they will not protect you from a virus or malware that spreads through your files, a ransomware attack, a corrupted file that synchronizes back up to your cloud host and destroys all the good copies, accidental or malicious deletion, or just an error on the server. If your files are important to you, you need an archival backup too. That doesn't need to be a big and complicated thing. Start by asking yourself, what do you need? How much of that data can you afford to lose? And is it worth paying for to not lose it? If this is just a bunch of personal files, maybe losing them isn't a big deal and I don't need to do anything about it. If this is all the files that operate my small business, I definitely need copies. What do I need to invest in that? Well, what's it going to cost me to lose them? Once you have an idea of what that balance is, figure out what the best way is for you. Maybe it's as simple as making a manual copy, copying your files down to a USB drive, synchronizing your cloud drive to an external USB drive now and again, or using download utilities like Google Takeout. However, it's easy to forget to do that stuff. So if you really need copies, you may want to look at automated scheduled software that will do it for you. The important thing is that you understand what the risk is and make a plan that will give you what you need. I'm Nixie, and this has been Nixie Knows. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you learned something useful, please click like so that YouTube will be more likely to show someone else that's something useful too. If you know exactly who needs to see it, click share. Make sure they get a chance to come spend a few minutes with me too.